Hello everybody and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Today, what are we doing today? We're doing something that we shouldn't be doing. We're definitely doing something <laughs> we shouldn't be doing. We're adding up how much it's cost us to do the refurb underneath the car. Numbers, numbers, dangerous numbers. We've had a um, lot of people asking us, how much has this cost? Now we're yeah. not doing the full build Just yet. This is yeah. just what we've done recently, which is the overhaul of the undercarriage. <laughs> the undercarriage Under overhaul. <laughs> Overhauling. Overhauling. Yeah, we're going to go through what we spent on what, where we where we spent yeah. it. This All of this was a massive surprise to the build. We never intended to do any of this mm -mm. stuff. But once you get your teeth into this kind of caper, it... Um, it, it turned it, into a nut and bolt restaurant, it did, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 but it's lovely. It is it's lovely. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. And putting it's clean beautiful. parts back together is always such a treat, isn't it? It's a delight. Now, mm -mm -mm. we're going to go through... We, we didn't... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait what? a minute. What? Adding on to that. Yeah. At the end of the episode, we've got oh, a yeah. special treat for 240 people. Um, it's our gift to the 240 gift. community. It's a bit of a hack. Um, but it's amazing. It's amazing Stay tuned hack. to the end. You'll see it for yourself. Make your own judgment. I think it's fantastic. I think it works pretty good. It works brilliantly. Um, stick mm. around. You'll, Actually, you'll enjoy it. we've got two hacks. What? Two, two hacks? hacks? Yeah, I know. I'm going to drop that in there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting drop a that. second hack. Two hacks. Right. They're great hacks. I'm excited. The second hack is if you've got a heavy boot spoiler. Oh, yeah. That's a good Ooh. second hack. Ooh la la. Bonus hack coming up. Ooh la la. Right then. So let's get through these numbers. We're going to start with what we spent at Classic Suite. Good old Die Brace. Die Brace, He really yep. treated us well. Um, he's a good fellow, isn't he? He's got everything, really. He's got there, everything. He? Isn't yeah. He? I mean, you, probably, you possibly could just buy everything from there, maybe. Probably. Probably. Possibly. But um, we're going to go through what we got from Die at Classic Swede. Um, it's a juicy one. You might want to sit down. Go on. No, I'm only joking. Right, okay. So, Classic Swede, we got the lowering springs and the Bilstein dampers. Yes, we did. Quality stuff. And it's already changed the look of the car. And the, the Bilstein stamp, stamp stampers. The Bil... <laughs> the, sorry. <laughs> the Bilstein um, or Bilstein. Bilstein. Bilstein uh, dampers are... Lovely, um, they're so nice, aren't they? They're they beautiful, are yeah. Super squishy, really and nice. They, they not really too do. squishy either. Yeah. Um, but we also got hold on to your hats, we've got the adjustable torque rods. They are, they are. They're, they're, we've got the heavy duty yeah. adjustable torque rods, and they are heavy duty. They're heavy, they're heavy duty. Uh, rear arms, they're beautiful, lovely rear arms, yeah, re re lovely. Um, oh, the heavy duty panard rod, the adjustable panard rod. That is a piece of kit, that's lovely, yeah. That also came with the bushes, didn't it? Yes. Bushes included bush. with that. Um, did the torque rods come with bushes? Yes. This, they did, so that had the bushes. Now, we also bought anti-roll bar bushes for our anti-roll bar. For the front, because there's the front. no on the back. There's no on the back. No, um, we haven't finished that yet. No, we haven't. Uh, the brake disc backing plates for the front, the middle the bits. Inner piece, yeah, the um, tiny bits. It's the, it's the smaller dust cover, which covers the bearing. Yeah. And that was for the front. Um, I'm going to sneak, excuse me, I went out and mixed with people and caught a cold, do yeah. you believe it? Okay, I'm back. So at Die Brace's shop, we spent a grand total of £781. Jesus. Just on those components. Okay, that's... Mm. But we've only got to buy them once. We've only got to buy them once. They're really good quality parts. And yeah. unlike modern springs that break every couple of years, old car springs <laughs> tend not yeah. to break every couple of years. Well, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, that's that done. Um, next place we went shopping. Brookhouse. I like Brookhouse. They Great. are Simon so Simon on the polite. phone, he loves it when I call so up. So polite, you get free, you get sweets. <laughs> get free Haribo. You get sweets, free Haribo shop. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really good guys. Really good they guys. They basically have, like Die Brace, a uh, uh, classic suite, they have a lot of everything for Volvo. I think you could Volvos. build a Volvo over the phone with those guys. They yeah, I think a lot as well. if classic suite and Brookhouse Volvo haven't got it, I don't know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are pretty stuffed. Anyway, we bought from um, Brookhouse Volvo mm -hmm. wheel bearings for the back and um, a front brake caliper repair kit and the diff gasket. Yeah. For a grand total of a, a nice £133. That's quite nice. That sounds nice. That's not too bad, That is adds it? to the grand total as well, though, oh, don't forget. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah. Only, only 133 quid there. But that, that's, that. That, 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 you needed the bearings at the back, so that's sort of Yeah, they were that, so it? rough. 
They were a bit rough. They were a bit rough. I don't remember hearing any noises when I was driving it, but it was so long ago. It was going ago. to, yeah. Yeah, so long ago. Uh, from there, we moved on to our favourite eBay. They've got a lot of good. If you want to get something that, you know, if someone's breaking a car, there's a lot of bits. I've got a replacement lens for the centre console that somebody broke. Oh, me? Oh, I didn't break it. Well, it might have been you. I don't think so. There's I'm not no big proof in. it was me. I <laughs> uh, got replaced one of those really cheap. I mean, brilliant. But what did we get from eBay? We brought some brake nipples and that hell brake line kit. That's a lovely kit, that it one. It is a lovely kit. Really it fits beautifully. Um, stainless steel ends, braided stainless steel hose. It comes in different colours. It has colourways, doesn't it? Because it's yeah. got like a clear tube over it, which is tented. Um, lovely. Lovely but I think they, are they made in the UK? I, I don't, don't know. know. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. Doesn't does really it? matter, no. Um, but um, they're beautiful brake lines. The, the brake line kit itself is 150 quid. That's yeah. what we paid for it. We eBay. spent 158 quid on eBay. Yeah. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not well, a lot. in the grand scheme of things, not a lot. Hard to find 240 brake nipples on their own, by the way. Mm, you had difficulty finding them. did have that, difficulty finding them. Yeah. Um, this last shop has, it has a lot of... Pros and cons. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like it. We like it. We it's have, never done us it's wrong. It's never done us wrong. Apart from one time when we ordered a head gasket and it arrived folded up in a oh, box. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yeah, That was fun. And, the of course, gasket. we're talking about Autodoc. I like Autodoc. I think it, the app is so easy to navigate around. They've got basically everything you need. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it takes a bit of time to get to you. If you're not, a, if you're not trying to repair a car on the same day, if you've got time to wait for parts, then you can wait. And they tend to send out discounts, don't they? We they get them do, all the time, yeah. like, oh, on this day, you can have 25% off. And Black Friday, 40% off. We tend to off. build up um, what we need. And then, well, like you said, on Black, Black Friday, 42% yeah. off. And there's like, bloody hell, that's Ooh, a lot off. Cannot so refuse hundreds that. Hundreds of pounds saved just on waiting but some if people, you can afford, like if you I can said, it's wait. mixed. Some people have had bad experiences yeah. where they get the wrong parts I, and things. I would say make sure you know what you're buying. Yeah. Make if sure you, know, you get you the right know. part. The right variation um, on the part. Two different types of brake systems on this car. Yeah. If you were to order the wrong calipers, it would be it would have been your fault. And returning, returning stuff hairy to hairy Europe. Also, yeah. yeah. You Especially, might as well just chuck them in a box and put them in the back of the garage. Let's not talk about that. But... Um, Returns can be a bit of a pain, so just make sure you're ordering the right stuff first time around. You should be all right. The, yeah. the, the discounts to be had are juicy. Yeah. Uh, what did we buy from Autodoc? Two brand new rear brake calipers. Yeah. That was a treat. That was that was a surprise at the end, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The front ones, they were almost new. They, did just they had been yeah. refurbished, and the only reason I had to buy a refurbishing kit for them was because whoever did the refurbish didn't grease anything. Yeah. So all the pistons, which were brand new, seized. So, anyway, back to this. Rear bake calipers, that was 100 quid for the pair of them. I thought mm. that was quite good. Uh, we also got ball joints, tie rods, dust covers front and back, control arms, the handbrake cable, trailing arm bushes, axle bushes, anti-roll bar links, um, da -da -da, discs, front and rear, Brembo discs. Front Brembo and discs, rear. front and rear, and pads. And pads, Brembo pads, front and rear. Weir. Weir. Front and rear. Uh, all the brake accessories and Brembo. Did we get Brembo brake shoes or were they? No, they were just um, generic. Generic, just new generic brake shoes. Yeah. Uh, so we spent the grand total of five hundred and sixty pounds. Well, if you're keeping a total in your head, <laughs> you're getting uh, five hundred and sixty pounds. Oh man. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. So that was all of the parts we bought for the car. Yeah. This is just just underneath. Um, we do have a service kit for it that we have to do. Timing and, and everything. Obviously, yeah. that doesn't include the amount of time I spent cleaning down, stripping, painting. Um, we'll get oh, to that there's at there's the a end. miscellaneous we part. Yeah, we We're finished. still going. <laughs> Calm down, mister. <laughs> we have a miscellaneous section for things that we have in, well, had, either had in, had to buy from somewhere else from our suppliers yeah. to finish the job. We obviously used our favourite product, Dynax. Dynax, love Dynax. Go yep. and buy some Dynax. You should have it on shelf all times. Yep. Uh, we used four cans of Dynax underneath. They're about 20 quid a can. In the chassis section. In the chassis rails, yeah. So that was 80 quid just 80 on Dynax. Quid. Um, then we did the underneath in Schultz. Um, Schutz, Schultz. Schultz. A Schultz like product, <laughs> I'm going to say. <coughs> it's lovely. It's dried really nice. It's dried really nice, yeah. yeah. It's not. 
It's just nice stuff. Yeah, it is lovely nice. stuff. We used five cans of that, about approximately hundred pounds. Um, all these prices are including VAT, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nuts and bolts, because we replaced everything. As much as we could. Yeah. Um, rusty old bolts, no good if you're putting lovely new components on. So exactly. we have, so nuts, bolts, I have a washers. nice selection of new bolts. If, if it's not in a structural zone, yeah. I put a stainless steel bolt in. Um, but if it's something that's structural, I definitely put yep. just a normal steel bolt in. We spent about sixty pounds estimated on fit, easily, fit fasteners. Easily <coughs> happens. Easily Nuts, done. bolts, washers. Uh, rust converter. We used a bit of that to just yeah, in case. The, you know, we just there's, put there's some on the petrol tank. There's some on the rear yeah. axle. There's some on the front legs. There's, you know, prevention is better than cure. Oh yes. We we estimated about twenty quid of that. Easy enough. Um, this, the grease for the bearings and the building of the diff and stuff. Yeah. We, we had to buy grease for that because, you know, you've got to have the right grease. And, and we repainted all the components as yeah. well in yeah. satin black and then covered it with a clear coat, most of it, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Um, just just um, gave it a nice coat of paint, shiny, shiny. Exactly. And that was... Say about 100 quid. About 100 quid for the paint products. Just paint, just paint products. Now, none of these prices <clears> include <throat> labour. So, this is just the materials bill and the yeah. parts bill. I've not been keeping an eye on the time I've spent no. on the car. It's really hard, especially these days where it's hard to put time onto the car. Mm -hmm. That's if, if you've noticed that, we're not actually getting much done in per episode. It's because it's hard to get a decent episode in it in half a day yeah that's about how much time you get in a week these days a week yeah, <laughs> yeah. well we you know we we have got a day job we have got a day job so and bear in mind this <laughs> a baby god yes you can't even hold a spanner yet <laughs> <laughs> so bear in mind these prices are just for buying everything in yeah now i have the grand total are you ready would you like a chair hold on drum roll <laughs> the grand total for <laughs> the underbody suspension refurb I feel like you need an envelope to open. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to open it. <laughs> I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. £2,021. Jesus, that's, that's more than we paid Ooh, for the car in the first place. More than, more than I bought some cars for. Yes, the whole car. most of my cars cost less than two grand. Yes. So, Including this one. So far... Ow. <laughs> yeah. No, it's worth every single penny. It's it gonna is worth every penny last because for so long. Underneath, it's been re it's been reconditioned. Yeah, it's gonna last now. There's only one questionable product underneath that car still. It's a steering rack. Yes. Um, you it did was rebuild a bit, it. It was a bit leaky. I took it apart, cleaned it, put it back together yeah. again. If it decides to continue being leaky, we it's are just getting this out of yeah. there. We're just getting another one, but. At we, the minute, finances can't support that. Yeah, I wonder we why. We've got everything crossed. You have filled it up and I see no pedals on the floor. Yeah. So fingers crossed we're all right. Um, we've got a few little things to do. We need to fill up the diff with diff oil. And we have got some clear Dynax to go over all the other components yeah, with. Cool um, Chuck, can I, can I? Yeah, go and get some clear Dynax. Uh, we want clear Dynax and all the uh, torque rods and the panard because mm. we don't want it looking brown and, and mucky. This is where the clear Dynax comes in. This is the same, it looks exactly, but it's UC. UC, yeah. For ultra clear. I assume so. Um, um, same benefits of Dynax, but in a clear product. Brilliant. Just, um, would you, I'm just going to give bolts and stuff a quick. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, wa a waxy, that, yellowy that's colour. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and that's going to protect bolts and washers and stuff like that. So we'll give you, we'll give you a demonstration of that when we uh, When we do the... Um, Finishing up. Talking up and adjusting episode because it's all on there, but it's not been talked up or adjusted. No, we need There's to a do lot of a lot of adjustments to do to make sure everything is spot on underneath there. We don't want any issues going forward. Um, that is that's it for the money. I think we should talk about this hack. Let's talk about the hack. Hacksaws. <laughs> no. Um, can you guess what it is yet? It's um, exciting stuff. It's exciting stuff. It's to replace a part that... It's quite hard to get hold of sometimes. Some of these parts are quite hard to get hold of on the car. Um, it is a Volvo part we're replacing on the car. Um, it's more of an upgrade, yeah, I of, think. I don't know. It's... Some, like I said, some of you are going to love it because it's super easy to do. It's very readily available. It's... Imagine something that looks stock. right. I think it looks right. It looks right. It replaces something that's hard to get hold of and... 
I think it's better than what was there originally. Well, we, I, we do because yeah. we're, we're talking about hockey sticks and bumper trims. A lot of people struggle with hockey sticks. To start with, they're hard to find they in get good stolen. condition. They get stolen a lot. Um, and then they secondly, the fit the fitment is, is difficult. The, the clips are a pain in the yeah. ass. They're multi-piece. Multi-piece. Lining them up. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what this stuff is or what it's generally used for, but I'm going to send put a link in the description so you can go and have a look yourself. It is a direct replacement. It is a direct replacement. I have tested it myself. This stuff here is a silicon. Silicon. <laughs> it's a silicon rubber. That's that kind of shape, mm. and it fits a treat. I'm going to demonstrate this because we're going to go and do it now. Let's go do it. Ooh, right. So this is the trim fitted. Does it look out of place? I think it looks stuck almost. I, think it looks, it, I also think it looks it's blending in extremely well. Um, here's the hockey stick. When you put them side by side, you can clearly see that this isn't this. But if your ones of these aren't sticking to the car, or whatever like that, just get this stuff. I mean, this. It blends so well. Not only does it look right, but it's one piece. It's not three different pieces yeah, across piece. the back. Um, all right, anyway, this is enough upselling them. I'm not upselling it, I just I'm love it so much. Them. Are I'm you upselling them? Yeah, them? Definitely, okay. Definitely, totally upselling. So um, this, was a, this was a meter long sample I bought of the stuff just to see if it would work around the corner because it is quite tight and it does fit extremely well. Um, I, and you, you cut the ends yourselves. Um, do the angle you want. Angle you want. Right, no, enough messing. Let's, let's install let's do our it. trim. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is cut the end to the angle we desire. Um, I copied the hockey stick angle um, roughly. It cuts super easy because it's made of silicon. You just need a nice razor blade. So I'm just going to re recreate what I'd already cut. So I'm just going to, not only is it back at an angle, but it's towards that way a bit as well. I'm just going to guesstimate it like that. And that should basically be it. Beautifully done. I'm just going to cut, oh, found. Here we go, and that is how it's cut. Right, we need to check the length of this, so if you would take that side. Of course. We Louise and me have got it over here. Right, we'll, have to, we'll have to pull it fairly taut, yeah. right to the edge of the bumper. Right to the edge. Remember where it was before? Yeah. Oh dear, it's okay oh baby. Oh dear, All right. Now we're just gonna pull around. Nice and tight. Well done. And I don't know where you are, that's the, the problem. Do you, want, do you want to come and just double check? Yeah, I do, because I need to mic it the same as the other side. Beautiful, yep. just to the start of the radius. Yeah, that's where it was. Hey! Sorry, Louisa, we're just marking this out. We'll what be do with you, you think? in a second. Am I got it in the right place? I think so. Has Daddy got his in the right place? It's squeezing around. I hope around. so. Yeah, okay. You got it? Yeah. Oh, there's a direction to this trim. There, you could put it on short way up and long way over the bumper, but we're going that way around. <coughs> You've got the cold. I've not got a cold. You've got the cold. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it on. Stick the best thing it. about this is that it sticks on. It doesn't rust. <clears throat> And it's, it's, it's not going to, it's, it's secure, you know, it's brilliant. I think it's a fantastic hack. I think it's a great hack as well. And I think people will enjoy this. They will. It's all one piece. It's not three pieces that are going to look all wonky. I mean. Beautiful. You couldn't ask for anything better. Right, just pull it in nice and tight, keeping it tucked to the bumper around the corner. Lovely. Look at that. Doesn't that go around the corner so easy? It's beautiful. It's so much better than two. I, I just can't get over how easy this is. <laughs> it's easy. It's probably going to fall off in like a month. 
No, because you could always, you could, if you wanted to, you could bloody bond it on. If you wanted to, you could bond it on. I'm going to go right across in one foul swoop because let's have a roll, baby. At last, last bit, where the old hockey stick was. Yep. Throw the ribbon away, around the corner. Oh, Egypt. Here we go. That is the trim fitted. I think that is a very acceptable replacement for a hockey stick. It looks much better than the hockey sticks in my opinion. It doesn't look like I've modified anything. It looks very factory. Um, I think if this technology was around back in the day when Volvo built the cars. Uh, yeah, so Nice clean look. Nice clean look. Link in description, guys. However, at the front of the car, you'll all remember that there's a lip here. Now, I'm going to have to trim that off in order to get my hacky hockey sticks on. Um, but I think the bumper has enough adjustment to go right the way up to press right against that. And if you can do that, then these hockey sticks do still work but I want my bumpers low because it makes the car look a bit lower. So I'm just gonna trim that bit off and stick the hockey stick on. Uh, the, the hockey stick hack. Hockey stick hack has been done. It's on the back, it looks great. Um, it will be on the front. I'll show you again in a future video. I haven't got time to do that today. No, but you have got time for the extra bonus hack. Follow me. Bonus. bonus. So if you have a boot spoiler, uh, we have a large metal boot spoiler but it's hollow, it's just a yeah. piece of metal. Those heavy um, foam ones would be the heavier. The heavy foam ones are heavier mm. than our metal spoiler, although smaller. Um, but we're all gonna suffer the same problem. What's the problem, babes? Keeping it up. Keeping it up. <laughs> <laughs> Man. No, <laughs> seriously. She's lost it. If you're having trouble keeping your boot up when you open it, this is the hack for you. This now, is for you. I, I know people are going to say, oh, you can order struts from SGS. Or double up. Or double up. Double I've up ordered struts. them. They can't order, they can't do the right ones. Yeah, we, we did try. Um, a whole lot of hassle on them. I'll tell you, you about you, that another day. You could day. double up on boot springs, but you have to make a lot of crap. No, and we have got a boot pop release. Mm. So we need it. So have a, have a look at this. We're not finished yet on this hack. Because Ooh. it's not quite holding the boot. It's up. only got one in, but We're it's not, holding yeah. it on one. So that over there is the original 240 boot spring, that grey cylinder. Yeah. Now you have to just you have to um, ignore everything ignore else. Ignore all the Dynax are splattered everywhere. Over here is a gas ram. Now that gas ram is off an E30 bonnet. Um, they only have one on the E30. That's how powerful that gas ram is. It, and all I've done, as you can see here, is bolt it through with an M6 bolt there and I've cut open the hole at the back so it can hook straight on originally and it's exactly the same length and slightly stronger. Oh, watch, that's only one. That's only and one. It's holding and it holds. It. Never hold it never held before. Never held before. No, it holds. No. Um so we're gonna put a pop another one of them on on the opposite side and I'm pretty sure that's gonna solve all our boot Shopping opening. boot opening worries. Yeah. Look at all that space. Ooh. Space for... Ikea shopping. Well, thank you very much for joining us for this Sunday episode. Yeah, thanks very much um, in, in joining us to... Talk to about see. the shock of the amount of money shock we've spent. horror. <laughs>
Well worth it. Well worth every penny. Um, well worth it. Don't forget your hockey stick hack. Don't forget the hockey stick hack. This rubbery trim replacing this. Brittle, this rubbery old trim. Bit of trim. Works so well. That was, honestly, that was the first time I did it as well. <laughs> that was the it first worked. time. It went that smoothly. So good. So good. Good stuff. Uh, we'll be back with midweek. Yeah, uh, Wednesday get, or link Thursday. for this is in the description. We're not making money off of this. Mm -mm. Um, the only, we get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon. Um, like a penny, if we're lucky. Yeah, yeah. It nothing. all goes towards the end of carriage so, yeah, refurb. <laughs> it does, yeah. Um, I just, we're just offering this out because we think it's that good a product. It's so good, we couldn't keep it to ourselves. No, we, ha we had to tell you. Yeah. Um, and so we didn't want to, we didn't want to scoop all of this stuff up and make kits to sell you because and, and put a profit on it. Uh, we're, just, we're just offering it to you. Yeah. We just have it. Just Take do, it. Go do, do it. Just run with it. Yeah, run with it. Run with it. Run with it. Right then, are we going to get going? We're signing off. We're signing off. Say goodbye. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you next week. See Ciao. you. Bye. Ciao. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow, I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. Credit card debt.